check out my cool Horito shirt. Um, <coughs> as you can tell by the title, this is going to be about the Talmud. Um, and, uh, partially inspired by, um, Justice for Orthodoxy, because he's the uh, latest per well, no, the latest person to come to Orthodoxy, praise God, is the child of um, my dear friend Ruth, who was raised, who was half Ashkenazi, half Sephardic, and was raised Jewish, um, and she married a Jew, um, somebody who is... I don't know if any Israeli military or the American military or whatever. I'm not going to give away the branch or whatever, even if I remembered it. But has many children. She became Orthodox, Eastern Orthodox, uh, and was baptized into the Holy Mother Church uh, years ago. Um, after you know, back and forth with me, and she found that the parish that she went to was Antiochian, uh, full of Palestinians, it was very welcoming to her, and did not judge her, and there was no anti-Semitism towards her, and one of her children um, has become baptized, so praise God for that. So, there are many adults and um, young people who are Jewish who come to Orthodoxy, um, just within the, the 10 years that I have been Eastern Orthodox, um, an Eastern Orthodox Christian, a, a fully confirmed communicant in the Eastern Orthodox Church, not just a, a catechumen or somebody attending services. So, <coughs> the claim that the Talmud that God gave um, the Pentateuch, or the first five books of Moses, or whatever you believe that God gave it at Sinai, whether it was just the ten symbols, meaning ten words, and that it's extrapolated out from there, uh, that Moses extrapolated out from there, and later on scribes ex extrapolated more out, but God gave the law, God gave the law at Sinai, right, or Horah, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that was preserved unchanged um, to this very day. I mean, the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Septuagint, um, to a lesser degree, the Masoretic Text, which is of the Karaites. Um, but now they're claiming, no, there was also an oral law given. But yet they wound up writing down the oral law. Why have a written law and an oral law if you're just going to write down the oral law? And this didn't come about until uh, around, I mean, after the Hasmonean period, after Judas Maccabeus, Saint Judas Maccabeus um, reconquered the land, and you had John um, Hycanarinus, or I can never pronounce his name, I just say John Hycanus. I became king, and then the Romans came in and started to rule. And um, we hear about these traditions of men in the New Testament, you know, that the, the Pharisees are making stuff up. One group who rejected this were the Sadducees, and the Sadducees only believed in the first five books of Moses, only believed in the Pentateuch, what uh, Christians usually call the Torah. Um, uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, or Be'erishoth, and I don't know, the Hebrew names escape me, but the first five books of Moses, and that's it. <clears throat> they didn't even accept the prophets, or the history, or the wisdom, or anything else. Just, just that, and um, they did not uh, believe in the resurrection of the dead, um, and they believed he had total free will. The Essenes, on the other hand, had a ton of writings. Uh, still no Talmud to be found among the Essenes. Uh, and I believe they believed in predestination of some sort. Um, 
so I mean and and there's other groups there's groups that are existing today like the Karaites which is where the mass erratic texts come from which is where I mean that's all, all the Jews all the rabbinical Jews which are the descendants of the Pharisees follow um, a, a Torah a, a Pentateuch that was preserved and came from a line of Karaites, people who they consider to be apostates and heretics. And when people say, well, the Jews don't have heretics, they believe in heretics or hell, the, you're being lied to. Yes, they do. They call them minute. Um, and there's other words to describe there. And there's also Reformed Jews. <clears throat> But the Mishnah, which is opinions and legal debates, mostly, it came around about A.D. 200. Uh, the Gemara, uh, A.D. 500. The, um, the Jerusalem Talmud was finalized in the 4th century, in the A.D. 300s. The Babylonian Talmud, which was put together in in Sura and Sestifan, um in the uh, Sasanian Empire and later the the, um, the Umayyad Empire, the Muslims uh, was finalized around AD seven hundred. Uh, let me get some figures out of the way. Uh, Rabbi Israel Ben Eliezer, you probably, you guys probably know him as the Baal Shem Tov. It's from the 18th century, meaning like you know the 1700s. Uh, he could have ran into George Washington. He was a big proponent of the Kabbalah um, and the Zohar. Uh, also a question, is Yiddish a holy language? And if it is, why? It's just a form of German that's written in Hebrew characters. Moses Maimonides, also known as the Rambam, lived in the 12th century. The 1100s. Um, for either of these characters to declare what is or is not a... Uh, criteria for the Messiah. The window for the Messiah to come is shut. Right, that's why there was such a fervor. Um, There's many claimants to be Messiah. I mean, even up to Bar Kokhba, uh, Simon Bar Kokhba, Shimon Bar Kokhba, Bar Kosuba, the deceiver, the liar, the, the fanatic, the killer, psychopath. Rabbi Akiva backed him, and Rabbi Akiva is still a respected guy, and his words are still in the Talmud, even though Bar Kokhba had his men cut off parts of their finger. And, as you know, mutilation is against the Law of Moses. Um, some criticisms um, that people have found, and this has been since forever, are, one, it's anti-Christian and anti-Gentile content, absurd, and or sexually immoral content. Three, falsification of scripture. Um, the Noahide laws were lifted from Acts. Look at the look at the Council of Jerusalem and how these, uh, these God fears should act. They don't need to convert to Judaism, but they have to they have to do these things. And it's the Noahide laws. Well, we don't hear about the Noahide laws from the Jews, and they don't even bother to write them down until centuries upon centuries later. And people say, oh, the stuff that Jesus said, or is in the New Testament, as well as the Didache, oh, that, that, they must have got that from the Jews, because that sounds like stuff that's in the Talmud. No, um, the other way around. Um, oh, yeah, the Samaritans, too. The Samaritans did reject. The, the Talmud um, and, and the Jew, the, the, the rabbinical Jews hate the the, the, um, the Samaritans, and Pharisee means to separate oneself, to be separate. Um, the Talmud is not from G D. Um, 
this is where the traditions of man, when Christ is speaking against traditions of men, he's not speaking against ritual or anything like that, you know. Um, Jeremiah talks about the New Covenant. We have baptism and the Eucharist. Um, but uh, the existing one, he who is, did not give out an oral law. Not to mention, um, I mean, what was the importance of writing it down? Of writing the actual law down, of inscribing it in stone? Um... And, uh, <clears throat> you're not to add to it or take away from it. This is the, this is where the Samaritans got into trouble because they, they added a 11th commandment. Um, also the Kabbalah, which is part of this wider rabbinical Judaism, anthropomorphizes God and is very pagan and gives uh, black magic and sorcery. God is not a man, nor was he ever a man. Um, there is the Logos that took upon flesh, who we call Christ, but God, Theos, the one that we call, um, most of the times when you see God in the New Testament, when it's talking about God, God the Father, God that exists, the God, God who is one, not, no flesh, no, not anthropomorphic. Too bad the Kabbalah has him as anthropomorphic. And not all-knowing. Um, but yeah, so the Sadducees um, and the Essenes and all, why, why were they, why would the Essenes, why would the Sadducees and these other groups reduce contest these things that they knew were new if they had always been and came from Moses they wouldn't have and we'd see we'd see some effect of this oral law throughout um, Jewish history within the archaeology or something we see none of that um, the uh, yeah so um, yeah, the Talmud, uh, yeah, hundreds and hundreds of years after the New Testament and the formation of the church. Um, this is just a quick run through. Peace to you. And I don't think the Karaites came from the Sadducees. I think they it broke away from the Pharisees and became uh, their, their own thing. And that's where the rabbis, the modern day Pharisees, get their their Torah scroll from. Although they will call the Talmud the Torah, they will call the rest of the Tanakh. They'll they'll refer to it as the Torah as well. I've heard them do that. Um, this isn't a personal attack at any one Jew because I have two Orthodox. There's two Orthodox Jews who I count as friends, who I think are good, nice people, and I talk to them and are friendly with them. But, um, yeah, they get it from the Karaites. The Masoretic text is from the Karaites. 